did this video will uh, start by introducing uh, some of the most common logical logic gates we have <clears throat> and logic gates are uh, as we have talked about earlier built out of transistors and they're these, these simple two input or one input devices uh, they basically do simple uh, um, boolean uh, arithmetic on given functions one of the most one of the simplest one well the first one we're going to introduce is um, called or gate and as the name implies or gates do an or operation where basically they will have two inputs and they will have an output the way typically the symbol is drawn the symbol is drawn with a curve in the front and more or less a curve in the back and then you will have two input coming in um, input let's say one input will call a the other input will call b and the output is c uh, the easiest way to describe the behavior of this is through what's called the truth table which um, on the right on the left hand side of this t that is drawn uh, you will have the input so you will have the input on this side and uh, typically these are count up on a binary uh, count so you will start with zero zero next you go to one next you go to two and next you go to three and since it's got two input only four possibilities exist and on the output side basically if both are zero zero or zero is zero basically much like if you put it in a the same uh, if if you put it in a um, english lang english sentence you would say a is not there b is not there so nobody's there but if a is if either a or b are there someone or something is there so therefore if either one of them is one you get a one and if both of them are one you get a one that's a truth table that describes the functionality of an or gate and typically for all our logic gates we will use an or gate to describe it now we can actually purchase these gates in a package and they have names such as 74 the package that has or gates in it is called 74 ls32 now every time you buy anything uh, computer related uh, gates or anything bigger you are given a data sheet and a data sheet is basically you can think of it as a user's manual but it's written for um, for by an engineer for an engineer so this is written for someone who's designed the 74 ls32 uh, and trying to make it usable for uh, someone who wants to use it to build a bigger device now we will go through 74 ls32 in more detail and i'll show you where these data sheets are located um, but as we go through the other gauge you simply can go to the same location and get the information you're looking for so if the best so you one is as as everything else you literally can go to google to get all the information you want or the other choice the other choice would be to basically take a look at engrcs.com website and then one of the items that is available is component specification so you click on a component all of these digital logic gates are listed here as most of them we have in stock some of them we don't have in stock but the one we were just talking about is the 74 ls32 is a two input or gate of course we have more of more input but two input or gate and they come in a package that is uh, got four of these in it as, and these are independent of each other the only thing they share in order for this or gate to be operational you have to connect connect the pin 14 to vcc and you have to connect pin uh, one pin one i'm sorry pin seven to ground and then you if you want to use this or gate these are the inputs one and two output is three if you want to use this one four and five or inputs and six is an output and one of the common mistakes is, as you see these one uh, inputs are lower number and outputs are upper when you go to the other side it reverses as you notice that eight is the output nine and ten are the input here it tells us 
basically for every one of the gates they will have a description of you know what the true table showing what the input and how these people decided in step zeros and one they're going to use low and high which is fine here it tells you what is the maximum voltage this thing for example when you give it a voltage the maximum voltage that you can give it is 5.5 the minimum you can give it is 4.5 and on and that and then they have other information such as maximum input maximum output this is another one that is interesting it takes time so when when you put your input into an OR gate it will take a certain amount of time before the output comes out the other end now the, the amounts are relatively small for our work which means that, for example the max under different type of loading different number of connections you would have as much as 11 nanosecond or 15 nanosecond of propagation delay and it depends on whether the output is going from low to high or how to low there might be different although in this case is exactly the same as I look at it let's see what else they got packaging these things come in all kinds of packages these are and this gives you all the dimension physical dimensions in case you need to design a place to put them in these are called surface mount packaging up here and if you go farther down this particular packaging is what we are using uh, in our case and as you can see there's a little dimple on the top indicating which way is up pin 1 is here pin 7 is here and 8 14 and then this, this is a side view of the package these are called dual inline packages and we use them because it's easy for a human hand to grab it and put it in most manufacturers like to use these because the machines can install them very quickly Okay. I'm going through this data sheet with a little more detail and of course there are other kind of packages available depending on what your purpose and what your use are uh, for this product. So that brings us to the end of the data sheet for the OR gate and, so, and that's that. So the next gate we should look at um, which is very common is an AND gate. In an AND gate you got an A and a B coming in. And let's see that's a symbol for an AND gate and of course the AND as the name implies both both input have to be true for you to have a true output so if A is the input B is the uh, A these are the inputs and C is the output here for the for the AND gate and then zero 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 one and notice when I do the true table, we always go from Z to count up and we don't jump around. So we go 0, 1, 2, 3 on this side. And then we come over here and put in what, what the possible output. If both are 0, is 0, 0, and this is a 1. Okay. So that's an end. Of course, this, the part number for this one is 74 LS08. And... That of course, if you have want to see more of it, you can simply go back. Oops, simply go back to the data sheet we had earlier uh, in engr.ngrcs.com and look at the detailed specification. It's going to be very similar to what you saw with 7 uh, LS32 or the OR gate. So this is an AND gate 74 LS08. Now, another one, and of course, there's four of them in that package as well. The next one which you should, uh, we should really talk about is a NOT gate, which is a pretty straightforward. This one happened to have one input and have one output. And of course, the truth table is really simple. You got one input, so you got two possibilities, zero and one, and the output is just basically inverts. Um, the it comes six of them. The re those guys will come in four in a package. This gum has six in a package and LS of four. Is a designation okay so that's the inverter that we talked about or not gate uh, a lot of times a lot of times um, when we are talking about inversion we might write a prime that means conversion in negation or one uh, inversion of a sometime you'll see in the document they're writing like that so both of those are not or complements of a and that's the way we write it okay uh, 
um, let's see what else uh, of interest to talk about here. Uh, there are some other gates we're not going to go through here, but I just wanted to make mention them so you know. There is a gate called NOR, which uh, might, well, might as well draw it. It's an OR gate but we put a little bubble on it, which basically means an OR with the knot attached to it. And these gates you can get in this particular, if you're interested in this is 74 LSO2, and might as well write the true table for it. So it's A, B, and C, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, I'm sorry, 1, 0, 1, 1. You've got, this is not OR, so that means is going to be one here and zero everywhere else. And then, and then, um, one other one, uh, kind of along the, the nor, is a NAND gate, which is basically an AND with a knot attached to it. And NAND gate is usually drawn this way. And that one, basically, as I said, is AND. With the knot attached to it so one one zero one one and uh, so would be one with the opposite of what an end was okay um before before i go too far let me come back here and kind of show you the symbols for this one so c is said to be a or b so a plus sign is used in expressions to indicate or the and we are using the dot to indicate and so that's how ands is represented and not I already mentioned we either say b is equal to a prime put a prime there or you will put a line above it those both indicate complement of a and a nor of course is a is basically a or b but it's after the or is inverted so that's a nor symbol and the NAND symbol can now that we have the idea A and B, but it's a NAND, so it's got a line above it. Just to be complete, let me do one more, and then we are through with the gates. Um, so there is the last one sometimes you come across is exclusive OR. And that basically is, uh, you can think about it, is going to be one when the two inputs are different. So exclusive OR is represented if A is an input, B is an input, and C is an output. First of all, they draw it like this, the circle around the OR, that's an exclusive OR. And so 0, 0, 0, 1, um, 1, 0, 1, 1, and exclusive OR, if they are the same, then it is a 0. If, they are, if A and B are different, then it's a 1. That's an exclusive OR. The way they show it, this is how they basically look like an OR with an extra curved line in the back. So A, B, and C. That's an exclusive OR. And if you're wondering which 70, well, what number is it, it's 74 LS86. We have those in the lab if you're interested. And here, this one I forgot to put it in. That is the, the, uh, um, NAND gate is one of the earliest, the first ones people created because the simplest one to build and it's 74 LS. So now we got kind of a good listing of the common gates out there. We've got the OR gate, how does it function, the AND gate, uh, NOT gate, NOR, NAND, and exclusive OR. That brings us, that brings us to the end of discussions around the basic gates.